This is our next episode of That's Just Ridiculous. <laughs> because the comments. Thank you, trolls. Just thank you. You are paying us. <laughs> and we appreciate it. So I did a video a while back in the in the summer about stockpiling different things. And I talked about how my bread had gone up from 88 cents to $1. And oh my goodness, 180 comments on Facebook alone. And almost everyone was, where is bread a dollar? Not in Canada, that's for sure. I thought the same thing. I need to know where I can find $1 bread. Mine's $3.99. Costco prices are soaring. Two to five dollar increase on some places. You can't even find the essentials. Where do you live? I pay two dollars and fifty cents and that's for cheap bread. Over and over and over again. Where is bread a dollar? Where is bread a dollar? So I thought, okay, maybe I'm just not in the real world. I always thought I was. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> so I started going looking at these places that these people live, because you can do that on Facebook in case you don't know that. And I went to their profiles, found out where they live, went to their uh, city, typed in grocery store, typed in Walmart grocery store. Guess what? Every single one had bread for a dollar. All over the United States. Pretty much every single Walmart. I did not check Hawaii and Alaska. A few moments later. I looked it up. Hawaii's got the same bread for $3.34. That is more expensive than $1. So we'll give you Hawaii and Alaska. Hawaii and All Alaska the other states. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we're talking Hawaii and Alaska. They yeah. have to import everything. <laughs> I would think I think, would think bread would be $3 for the cheap yeah, stuff in Hawaii. Yeah. But that's just a given. All the rest of the United States, I found it for a dollar over and over and over again. So this one particular comment said, where's bread a dollar? Not in Canada, that's for sure. Okay, first of all, I've had lots of Canadian viewers say yes, they can find it in Canada also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another viewer said, actually, it's not that hard to make it if you have flour, yeast, and liquid. Milk, look up the instructions and try. Dining on a Dime Cookbooks, Volume 1 and Volume 2, both have delicious bread. Volume 1, homemade bread. Volume 2, Amish bread. Mom uses both those recipes. I've used them for years. Super easy. This was the response to making your own bread. Nope. I buy 12 grain and I don't bake. Then I said, because I got in and had to give my two cents <laughs> worth, you know, well, that's your problem. If you're going to be a bread snob, you are going to pay for it. It's not that you can't get bread for a dollar. It's that you refuse to get it. Yeah. Here's the thing. You can get bread for $1 in the United States pretty much every, you, well, you can in every single state. Mm -hmm. Even if you live in Vermont, where I think they don't have Walmarts in Vermont, if, I don't know, they used to not have Walmarts in Vermont. You can drive, and I know you drive to other stores. You can pick up your bread at Walmart. You're just a snob. And I'm sorry, but that's what it boils down to. And when you do not have money, when you are in debt up to your eyeballs, you have car loans, credit card debt, student loan debt, your house isn't paid off. You cannot afford to be a snob with bread. I'm sorry, but if you're gonna be eating your 12 grain, six seed, five nut loaf, of course you're gonna pay $5 for a loaf of bread. But here's the thing, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. It's not that you can't get it, it's that you refuse to get it. But see, they say they can't because that makes them feel better. They have to find an excuse for why they're spending their money and getting in debt and going overboard. And by saying, I can't do this, or I can't find this, or things are getting too out of hand, that it makes takes them the feel responsibility yeah. off of them. And it blames yeah. it on it blames it on inflation, the government, whoever else you want to blame it on. Yep. You don't accept responsibility. Instead of and, saying, I choose to pay three to five dollars a loaf for bread mm -hmm. because it is your choice and it is your responsibility. And what you want to do is you want to blame everybody else saying mm -hmm. you can't find $1 a loaf of bread. Because you want somebody to feel sorry for you. And then you use the excuse. And then we had other comments on here about how, 
oh, well, that's not healthy. Let me tell you, my grandmother, mom's mom, 94 years old, has never had a health problem basically in her mm -hmm. entire life, basically. She has been eating the white sandwich loaf bread for probably 94 years. 89 <laughs> years <laughs> since it came out. I mean, mm -hmm. was it even out when grandma was a baby? Yeah, I don't know. Was, they, they just come out with it, so. She's been, mom has been eating it for 70 years. Until I went gluten-free, I ate it for 40 years. And you know what the problem is? The problem is when you say it's not healthy, it's because you're eating too much food. Yeah. It's because you're eating too much food. And even this week, I decided to take some advice, health advice, <laughs> and eat a big salad every day for lunch because I needed more fruits and vegetables. Okay, guess what? I gained two pounds. Hey, look, so what? You put on a little weight. A little weight? Does this look like a little weight to you? Weight can fluctuate from year to year. Fluctuate? You make it sound like I'm retaining water. <laughs> I know, I do that all the time. <laughs> I'm ticked. It is, the, the, here's the problem. In that kind of thinking, you're blaming everyone else mm -hmm and not yourself and it boils down to the food is just fine there's nothing wrong with it you are just eating too much of it that's what it boils down to but nobody wants to take the responsibility to say you know what maybe i just need to eat one egg and one piece of toast for breakfast i don't need my 15 ingredient smoothie for breakfast to be nourished for the day. Well, I, it reminds me of um, the emperor's new, new clothes. clothes. You know? Oh my goodness, yes. Everybody keeps drinking the smoothies or eating tons and tons of organic free or whatever they are, all this free stuff, and they're getting heavier and heavier. And everybody- Fatter. Fatter. <laughs> and everybody is just saying, oh, I eat a smoothie. Oh, that's so wonderful. We're all, it's like, they want to agree with everybody else that these smoothies are great or these this types of food is really healthy and good because they don't want to look silly or like they're mm -hmm. ignorant or something. Mm -hmm. And that's what the people did in the emperor's new clothes. You know, he paraded around and they said, if you can't see the clothes on there, then you're not very smart. And so he went around with no clothes on thinking, because he didn't want to admit he couldn't see the clothes. Nobody else wanted to admit they couldn't see the clothes. So everybody kept saying, oh yeah, your clothes look great. And he was naked, wow, you know, basically. You know, that, that sounds so familiar nowadays. But you know, that's what everybody's doing. <laughs> I, they're agreeing with that. everybody else because they don't want to look stupid. And, and in the because of what they're doing, yeah. they're more stupid, you know, or acting. Yeah, kind of like cutting all our gas lines and now we have no diesel and... <laughs> I know, but you know, that's just what everybody's doing. Oh, yes. Everybody, if somebody's sitting, women are sitting around a table, I'm drinking smoothies. Oh, I am too. I'm going to, I'm doing this and that. I'm thinking, I don't drink a smoothie at all, you know, for for breakfast or anything. And they mom look spent, at you like there's something wrong with yeah, you. And mom spends $20 a week for groceries for one. I spend $100 a week for groceries for four. Two teenage boys. Too. Everybody is... Ner there is no blood work issues with any uh -uh. of us. No. We have no high nothing. I'm sorry, but it's just an excuse. Yeah. And if what they say is coming is coming with the financial problems that we're going to have in 2023, you are going to have to get your act, act together. Yeah. You're going to have to get it together now. And that means if you have to learn how to make homemade bread, you're going to have to learn how to do it. The thing is... You don't have to do that. People always jump to you have to make homemade bread. <laughs> Dining on a Dime cookbook. The recipes are delicious. They're great. They're easy to do. Even the homemade bread is pretty easy to do. But it's got up to you to get the initiative to learn how to do these things. It's up to you to decide if you're going to pay off your debt by eating $1 loaf bread or $5 loaf bread. Mm -hmm. Let me put this into perspective for you. Instead of buying $1 loaf bread, if you buy $5 loaf bread, that is $208 a year, okay? $208 a year. For one product. For one product. Now hold on, it gets better. That means 
you have to work an extra 13 hours, almost two days, not quite two days, one and three quarters of a day a year, you are, pay, you are working just to pay for that extra bread. Is it really worth, if you earn $20 an hour, to work one and three quarters of a day just to pay for your bread? Yeah, and see, that's what people don't realize, the stress from having to do the work. That's what I was gonna say. And mm -hmm. then you complain about how you hate your job, you wish you could quit your it job. It causes more health problems than what if you ate, if you ate that white loaf of bread for a dollar from Walmart, you know. Let's move it a little bit bigger. Because I know those same people are the ones who are getting car loans because they don't want to drive a 20 year old used car that has to have repairs because heaven forbid they break down on the side of the road. You are working one and three quarters of a year to pay just for that new car at your job. You could literally take off almost, not quite, almost two years of work Actually, you probably could take off a two years of work by the time you count in the gas to pay for going to work in that car. You could take off two years vacation if you didn't buy that new car. And you say, well, Tara, you have to buy a used one. Okay, so you spend $3,000 instead of $40,000 on a used car instead of a new one. That's one month's worth of work. Okay, so one year and 11 months. Yeah, but, but people don't- Vacation. Add people never add this in and that is you pay higher insurance for those new cars yep. and higher tags i never realized and higher maintenance uh, yeah i never realized how much more it costs until i mm -hmm. one year i added it up to figure out what yeah. a new car would be to my little old used car it was mind-boggling yeah and when you start adding those I things in i mean that in, was almost as much as what i paid for yeah. my car and when you start adding those things in we're talking you could take off three years yeah. worth of work yeah Three year vacation you could have if you did not drive the new car. And if you paid no, for No, here's the thing. Nobody's letting that sink in. No, I know. Nobody gets that. No. And if you have a forty thousand dollar car, they think forty thousand dollars is what they're paying. There's interest on that forty thousand. And yep. if you've got twenty five percent interest on that forty thousand, yep. do you know how much that extra that's gonna I know. be? Well, I think interest on cars is like five percent. But is still. It? might be seven or something now but, but still, still you're paying interest on forty thousand dollars <laughs> and it has nothing to do with the bread mm -hmm. it has to do with your being a snob with your money yeah and you're trying to blame car or bread or your whatever or whatever and you're trying to blame other people instead of not taking responsibility for your own debt mm -hmm. and your finances i don't complain about the higher prices. I just go to try to find some place or something that I can do in place of it or find it cheaper. That's or all I do. Suck it up and pay for it and cut back somewhere yeah, else. Some, that's what I mean. Figure out what I can do to adjust or adapt, yeah. you know? And so I don't know. Ever since that post came out, I was just like, this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but people do not want to see it for what it actually is. Yeah. That yes, you can buy one dollar bread. Yes, you can buy it in Canada. I know my viewers have told me time and time again that they can do it all over Canada. Yeah, and you know what? What's so funny is we always hear people stressing out about paying that dollar for the bread and the prices are going up on the bread and doing that. I've never heard anybody stress or complain about the coffee that they buy each morning at Starbucks, the price going up. Never you want another anybody. one? I've never heard about the car prices or the outfits or the purses or the shoes. I never hear that. Yeah, but here's another one that's even bigger. Credit card interest rates. Oh, yeah. You're paying 20 to 24% credit card interest. And yet you're complaining because you have to buy $5 a loaf of bread. But do you know what that means? You're complaining about inflation at 8% but you willingly pay 20 to 24 mm percent -hmm. on your credit card but i don't think they hear that but i don't think they understand what that means that means you just went today and spent 400 dollars and charged it on your credit card that cost you 500 dollars what you bought today you don't see that you just put the card in you don't most people don't even look at their yeah. payment anymore they just have the money drawn out of their bank now mm -hmm. 
and don't even look at what they spent. They have no clue. Just the interest alone on one credit for card for most people is a month's worth of work for the year. Yeah. You are working an entire month that you could have a vacation, even if it's just at home. You could just sit at home and not go to work for a month just for the interest on your credit cards. Yeah. Nobody registers that. They just spend, you know, put their credit card in and half the time they don't even know what they're spending, period, let alone adding the interest onto yeah. it. Yeah. And that's where people are totally messing up and getting their money in a mess. They have no control over you have no control of your money in every area. Uh, you don't know what you're spending. You don't know anything about the interest. You have no clue how much interest you're paying on anything. You just want to be comfortable. You want the things you like, and you just think, I deserve it. Yep. I deserve it. I work we hard. All, yeah, I work hard, and I deserve it. This is it. what is so ironic. Everyone says, I, I work, work hard, hard, so I deserve it. You wouldn't have to work, work hard, hard if, if you, you wouldn't buy do it. That. <laughs> yeah. But nobody gets that. No, uh-uh. Yeah, they complain, everybody complains about having to work a 40 hour week now. I'm thinking, heaven forbid. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, for, for eons, people work 60, 80, 80 hours, hours a, week a week just to put food on the table. Yeah. And now people are complaining because they have to uh, work 40 hours a week to get their wonderful stuff. You can tell. <laughs> this kind of got me a little irritated because it's just, it's just ridiculous. Bread. <laughs> and just ridiculous. Go watch this video next. Visit <laughs> us at livingonadime.com and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.